welcome. On a recent episode of the Antiques Roadshow that I saw, a grandson had brought in his granddad's military medals and photo album. That must happen a lot. So this wonderful collection that we have here on the table, photographs, medals, paperwork. You introduced me to this rather splendid and dashing young man sitting in the back of this aircraft over here. Who is this gentleman to you? Uh, this gentleman here, this is Harold Blackburn, who's my grandfather. And in 1909, he got the aviation bug and he designed and built his own aircraft. I was drawn into the story due to who his granddad was and his importance to early aviation. The granddad was British aviation pioneer, Wing Commander Harold Blackburn, Military Cross, Air Force Medal. Harold was born in 1879 in Gloucestershire. He was aged 24 when the Wright brothers made the world's first controlled power flight. Harold became an engineer and by 1901 was working as a bicycle maker and repairer in Doncaster, England. No coincidence that the Wright brothers also own a bicycle shop. Blackburn moved to London around 1909. In association with Albert Walker, he built the Blackburn Walker biplane, a tailless three-bay tandem pusher biplane with a canard elevator and the engine sitting in front of the two occupants. It is not known if this machine ever flew or indeed could fly. Blackburn gained Royal Aero Club Pilot Certificate Number 79 at Brooklands on the 19th of May 1911, flying the Bristol Box Kite. In 1912, Harold Blackburn helped establish a motorcycle manufacturing business with CS and EA Burney. When the first machines were successful, the business was incorporated as Burney and Blackburn Limited. Though the motorcycles and engines continued to be known as Blackburn. Harold was given a motorcycle and sidecar which he later used to promote flying displays in Yorkshire. In September 1912, aircraft constructor Robert Blackburn, no relation to him, moved his flying school from Philly Bay in Yorkshire to Hendon. Harold Blackburn was appointed instructor and test pilot. The school's activities ceased operations sometime in early 1913, after which he became a demonstration pilot for Robert Blackburn's latest aircraft. This was the Blackburn Type D single seat monoplane, which survives in flying condition with the Shuttleworth collection and its two seat derivative, the Blackburn Type 1. The Type 1 was demonstrated extensively throughout Yorkshire in the late summer of 1913 by Blackburn and its owner, Dr. M. G. Christie. On the 2nd of October 1913, Blackburn and Christie won the Wars of the Roses Air Race, a competition sponsored by the Yorkshire Evening News between the Yorkshire-built Type 1 monoplane and the Lancashire-built Avro 504 biplane, piloted by F. P. Raynham with Humphrey Verdon Rowe as passenger some passenger. Humphrey had invested in his brother Elliot's aeronautical inventions and a firm was eventually registered in 1913 under the name A.V. Rowe and Company. For the Yorkshire Agricultural Show at Bradford on the 22nd of July 1914, the Yorkshire Evening News established the Great Yorkshire Show Airline, inaugurating the first airline service in Great Britain between cities flying to a timetable with half-hourly flights between Leeds and Bradford using the Blackburn Type 1 piloted by Harold. This was the first scheduled airline service in Great Britain. The first passenger was no less than the Lady Mayoress of Leeds. Upon the outbreak of World War I, Harold Blackburn joined the Royal Flying Corps, receiving Certificate 214 from the Central Flying School at Up Avon, Wilkeshire. On the 19th of August 1914, just weeks after the start of World War I. He flew in combat in France during that year. In 1915, he assumed command of newly formed Sea Flight of the No. 14 Squadron. The squadron commenced operations in the Sinai and Palestine campaign in November 1915, defending the Suez Canal from Turkish invasion. 
He designed the bomb site which 2nd Lieutenant Cedric Waters Hill successfully used to destroy the water tank of the remote Turkish outpost at Bir el Hasana on the 26th of February 1916. He received the military cross and was then given command of number 22 Reserve Squadron in Egypt, though he later saw further service in England and France for which he received the Air Force Cross. He achieved the rank of Lieutenant Colonel and was mentioned in dispatches four times, including a special commendation for his work in the Palestinian campaign from General Sir Archibald Murray. Blackburn remained in the Royal Air Force after the war. He was second in command at RAF Henlow until September 1924, when he left to become base commander at the Aeroplane and Armament Experimental Establishment at Martlesham Heath in Suffolk, a position he held until November 1928. Blackburn retired from the RAF in 1929 with the rank of Wing Commander and moved to Jersey. He was evacuated during World War II but returned to the island where he died in 1959. He is buried at Trinity Church with his second wife, Ruth Morley. So passes an aviation pioneer. Thank you for watching. Comment if you will, like and subscribe to promote further comment.